Thomas and Alpacas, this is Livy, and welcome back to another episode of Alpaca Power. Now, um, just so you know, Beaker is not in my lap right now because he's downstairs with my mom, and also I can't have him in my lap right now, or else there will be no room for this baby. My drawing tablet. Yes. Because I'm doing another challenge where I randomly pick things. I am doing an alpaca meme challenge. I've been watching a lot of and reading a lot of memes. Like I watch a channel called Animeme. I will leave a link to their channel in the description below because you gotta check them out. Like I watch them all the time, even though there hasn't lately been any new episodes. But I watch it when I'm like, you know, want to forget about some serious stuff or drama or anything. When I want to just chillax and um. I don't know what the word I'm looking for right now, but, you know, basically that I watch anime and it makes me forget about a lot of things, so. But I thought I should make my own, um, make some alpacas based off of popular memes. Now, one I'm definitely going to be doing for this challenge, and because you guys wanted to see it, and it's also based off of my favorite meme of all time, Insanity Wolf. So I'll be making an Insanity Wolf alpaca, and I'm gonna pick three more memes out of the alpaca hat. Three more memes randomly. I cannot wait for this. Like, just so you know, I did not put every single meme in here because there's so many memes and and stuff like that. And some of them, I don't think it will be too much of a challenge to turn it into an alpaca, especially the ones that are just faces and heads and other animals. So even. Like, you'll see. Like, um, let's see what I got here. Okay, the second, um, alpaca movie. Oh god, what's this one? Overly attack uh, attached girlfriend. Oh no. <laughs> yep. I'll be doing that one. Overly attached alpaca. Oh yes, lazy college senior. Yes. That one's gonna be interesting. And the last really good one is... I don't know if I'm holding it upside down or you guys can see it, I can't yet. And it's... Most Interesting Man! Yeah! <laughs> okay! So those are the three that I randomly pick. Like I said, I have a lot more. So I might be doing this challenge again. But, so what I'm going to be drawing is overly is insanity alpaca, openly attached alpaca, lazy college alpaca, and most interesting alpaca. So, let's draw these. I cannot wait to do it, and I'm doing it digitally this time because there's like a lot more to it, and when it comes to a meme, I cannot do it on paper. I have to do it digitally. So, let's see how these turn out. Okay, so first up, I'm doing overly attached girlfriend. Now, this one, um, it wasn't so much hard to draw the alpaca itself, but I decided to, instead of giving clothes to this alpaca, I decided to just make her the the color of her shirt. And I decided to give her this huge smile and these big beady eyes. And kind of give it that psychotic type look. But still very adorable. Like, one thing I learned about Overly Attached Girlfriend is she's actually a YouTuber. I don't know what she does for her channel or anything or how, but I can understand how that face kind of turned into a meme because I have to admit that is kind of an awkward face. And for her posters and the pictures in the background, I was a little bit lazy to draw those myself, so I used pictures that I've already made and put them on the background and make them like posters. But thinking of a joke for this one was a little bit difficult because I need to think about something so psychotic but still alpaca related. So the best is what if she sheared the female alpaca so she could be the fluffiest female alpaca he's ever seen? I don't know. I, I just came up with that on the spot basically because I had no idea what to have for her. But basically, for the font, I used an impact and made it white and all capitalized and gave it a black stroke so it can look like a meme. Kind of 
tell me what you think of her. I think she's kind of cute. Okay, so next one, this is Lazy College Senior. I was actually hoping to get this one because, I don't know, I just thought this one would be very interesting to look like as an alpaca. At first I was debating whether to give him clothes or not. But then later I decided to give him a shirt. And I made his ears droop because I thought I want to make him think like who cares. Give him that who cares look while, give, while drinking a very dark beer or whatever that is. Or maybe it's cola. I don't know. Probably dark beer. And also... Making the glass was kind of challenging because I had to use different types of shadowing and opacities. Tried to make it look like a glass, like he's drinking from a glass, not just a white cup. I think he looks better with the shirt than with the, um, than the color of his rule to be the same as his shirt, because that would be too much, like, overly attached girlfriend. And then, for the part, the background, and he's, like, at a cafe or bar or whatever outside. So, yeah, I drew the chairs and tables with, um, shapes. And just for the background people, I just used alpacas I've already made, so I don't have to draw any new ones. Maybe I'm a little lazy. I, I can be at times. Like, I'm not good with backgrounds, so I usually draw them with shapes. And sign it, and think about it. This is no offense to anybody who does their fan pack at the last minute. I was just trying to think of a good joke for this one. But if you do it at the last minute, that, that's absolutely fine. As long as it's appropriate and matches with the rules. Now, this one was the most challenging, and actually the most time-consuming, is the most interesting man. I'm trying to figure out whether he was from a commercial or from a movie. But what was the hardest with this one is his facial hair. Like, yeah, I've drawn facial hair on an alpaca before, but nothing like that. Nothing so thick like that. But I'm pretty happy of how it turned out. And then at the last minute, I decided to, um, Give the alpaca a suit instead of just the wool. But yeah, it was so surprising of how um, time consuming this was and how challenging it was but basically it's because he's behind and on top of the table at the same time and what I mean by that is his arms on the table but the rest of him is behind the table so I try to figure out how to do that but I managed pretty nicely then I enlarged him so I can create the bar atmosphere that green wall was an accident because I was trying to make the beer bottle which that was actually fun is um, you know I changed the opacity and I actually beveled it so it looks like a beer bottle I don't always watch YouTube videos but when I do I prefer a pack of power series there you go now the last one in Sandy Wolf and I was actually surprised at how challenging this actually was, like, to figure out with the facial expression. Like, how to make a cute alpaca so vicious, so basically I gave him teeth. And I'm, I'm really happy of how the teeth turned out. And the eyes just made them red instead of black, with the black pupils. But I'll add a little white, light, uh, white highlight for cuteness. This was my all-time favorite one to draw. I love this one so much. I love Insanity Wolf. He makes me laugh. 
Um, I remember when I first um, was introduced to Insanity Wolf, it was by this guy in college. He was showing people in Sandy Wolf, and I saw it, and I started laughing hysterically, and he was like, why does that make you so happy? And I'm like, I don't know, it's just the face is so funny. I know it's supposed to be a nasty face, like, if you see a wolf like that in person, you don't want to get close to it, but still, it's just, I just find it funny. I find it very funny, and especially the Insanity Wolf cartoons on anime, they, they're hilarious. But what was actually the most challenging, believe it or not, was the background. Like, trying to do that pinwheel effect. I tried so many methods to try the pinwheel effect. But I was actually pretty happy of how the last result came. And tried to make the markings like it's faded or whatever that is, or scratched. There we go. And I tried to think of an aggressive quote for this one, so join the Alpaca bandwagon! Right this second! And there's your Insanity Wolf. Insanity Alpaca. Ah, can't talk today. That was a lot of fun to do. It was a little more challenging than I thought, but it was a lot of fun to do, and... Right, Beaker? Yep, Beaker. But um, tell me in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite and what meme would you like to see turn into an alpaca because I am planning to do uh, this challenge again in the fall or I'm going to post it when I'm at Disney World but it's not going to be filmed at Disney World, I'm going to post it while I'm at Disney World because I still need to make a lot of videos so I can post them at Disney World while I'm at Disney so, I, so my channel's not nothing for a long time but... But yes, I'm really happy that I did this challenge. This challenge is so much fun. There's so many more memes I want to turn into an alpaca. And probably some that you guys are like, oh, I'm curious to see what that would look like as an alpaca. So, but yeah, let me know what your favorite meme is and what one of these alpacas that I just drawn were, were your favorite and which meme would you like to see as an alpaca. But please hit that like button. Very well appreciated. Hop aboard that alpaca bandwagon. Subscribe and hit that bell notification. And don't forget to check out Anime. But this was Livy, and this had been Livy. I'll see you next time, my friends. See ya!